Hi, and welcome to Protolab's Design Tips. I'm Rob Young. Every day we collaborate with an amazing variety of designers, engineers, and companies of all sizes. Many of them are especially interested in industrial grade 3D printing or additive manufacturing. They want to learn more. And one great way to find out more is to take a look at what we call the hexahedron. It's our 3D printing design cube. The cube shows off some of the features you can include in your part designs for 3D printing. It also touches on some of the materials used. Plus, it highlights several of the 3D printing methods we use at Protolabs. As you know, there are a lot of additive processes out there to choose from. This will help you sort them out. So let's take a little tour of the hexahedron. First up, stereolithography or SLA and its materials. Right here, we can visualize internal channels with ABS and PC-like SLA materials. These can be finished to achieve functional clarity. SLA is a high-precision technology. It's perfect for working features like lure connectors and internal pathways. And speaking of materials, here's a sample of Microfine. This is your best choice when you need micro-resolution features for high-precision designs on SLA parts. Look closely here to see those micro holes. Next, here's a sample of our multi-jet fusion, another of our additive processes. MJF is capable of features as small as 20 thou. MJF is versatile and as you can see here, allows you to take your designs to the next level with working features and living hinges that can actually be built as one part. Selective laser sintering, or SLS, is another one of our 3D printing methods. SLS is capable of features as small as 30 thou, as you can see here. Like MJF, the SLS powder-based technology is capable of interactive features. You can minimize the amount of material used by designing internal void spaces. Be sure to incorporate escape holes into your design for powder removal. And metal 3D printing? Hey, we do that too, with direct metal laser sintering, or DMLS. This is our metal hexahedron, which attaches to our overall design cube. It's not a huge part, but don't worry. If you are in need of large parts or many parts built on one platform, we can accommodate metal 3D printing volumes as large as 31.5 inches by 15.7 inches by 19.7 inches. Well, that wraps it up. I hope this navigation through our hexahedron was helpful. To learn more about materials for 3D printing, sign up to get one of our material selectors. These pocket-sized quick reference guides help you identify the right materials for your next project. Thanks for joining me today and good luck with your next design project.